Okay, so we've got the Wallabot device right here. Mm -hmm. It connects to Android phones. Basically, I put it on the phone right here. We've got drywall, so I'm going to put it against the wall. And it starts to scan. You can see here it identifies there's a wooden stud. It actually calls it out, identifying what it is exactly. As we keep moving, we start to see, ah, there's a metal stud. Mm -hmm. And does it say the word metal there? That's, yeah, the yeah, metal yeah. stud, so yeah. it's got the label. Mm -hmm. And then as we move here, we can see there's like, in this case, it's a wire. And even if you zoom this, it updates in real time. Incredible. If you've got something where, for example, you have a, uh, a pipe that's at a 90 degree angle, mm -hmm. Behind here, it's basically in this kind of right angle shape. You can follow the path. Another thing that's very interesting with it is what I mentioned is that it can detect movement. So in the case of, let's say you have a mouse, let's say my hand's a mouse, and you move it back here, all of a sudden it can tell if you have a critter running behind the wall, if there's a termite's nest, wasp nest. Even if sensitive enough, where as my hand gets closer, the color increases in vibrancy. As I move it back, we start to see it's a much fainter kind of color. And it uses those same characteristics that are done with the breast cancer screening device, where it creates a 3D image of the environment. It can tell the depth of the object, so it can tell you, okay, this wire is two centimeters back. It sees up to 10, cen 10 centimeters in drywall and cement. Um, and again, because the reflections from different objects are different, that's how it classifies and it knows, okay, this is a metal stud or a piper wire. There's one other thing I want to show you as well. Sure. This is a mode that's new for Australia. We haven't done post-processing on it yet. It's basically the idea is that if you want to map a large area of the wall, Okay, so what you can see here are three main bars. Mm -hmm. These represent these three objects in the wall. So this is a quick example, but at the same time, you picture you scan a large area of your wall, all of a sudden you start to see the whole thing. It'll really give you a map of the wall. Mm. From there, what you would do is then go into that mode I showed before, you'd identify, okay, this is a pipe, this is a wooden stud, that kind of thing. So again, like when you think about other solutions on the market, this one, when you can actually see an image of what's going on, when you trace the path of a wire, see movement, sort of gives it uh, kind of a whole realm of different capabilities. And can you export that map and print it out on a sheet of paper or see it on an iPad screen yeah, or zoom in and out? Save it. Yeah. Um, also, it gives you the measurements between the objects. So, for example, with this kind of thing, it would say, uh, like basically here, let's say it's uh, 15, 20 centimeters. I'm better with inches than centimeters. Sure, but, sure. Uh, it'll tell you actually the distance between those. So, again, it's not just a map without context. You actually get the measurements to support and then make decisions kind of based on it. And that's something that you've been doing uh, before Apple had its uh, AR kit and Android had its AR core, where they're using augmented reality and cameras to figure that out, you, you, you were already doing that. I mean, with the radio frequency technology, the 3D image uh, that it creates, I mean, it sort of gives you all that information. I mean, yeah. where things are in space and things are moving, that, that, uh, that type of thing. I can imagine robotics makers will want to use Wallabot to augment the cameras they're using for eyes. That's interesting. I mean, even when I think about robots, I think about manufacturing lines, mm. what are going on. For robots and people to be able to work together in environments, the robots can detect where people are to increase like uh, safety. Sort of all these kinds of things are uh, sort of what Viar is doing, and then yeah. also the consumer products with Wallabot as well. Okay, thank you very much. Cool.